Hello, Comrade Snake here, um, bringing in an unboxing video of Undaunted Stalingrad. I uh, just picked this up today, um, and I got um, I got the plastic off, but I have not opened it up yet, so we're going to get take a look inside. I'm very excited about this one, I have my eye on this, um, and it's pretty new. Um, and uh, I, I do want to, uh, if there's anybody who followed this because of board game stuff, I apologize for um, the dumb meme video I put out um, just recently. Um, that was for me and a few other people to know. But anyway, board game stuff. Undaunted Stalingrad. Ready to go. Let's take a look inside. It's a very big, thick box uh, by Osprey Games. Obviously, designers David Thompson and Trevor Benjamin. This is the latest in a series, Undaunted, a whole series of games. Um, let's take a look at the back real quick. So it's there's cards for unit representing units. You got the tokens on the field. It's the whole so there's scenarios. You build a whole board out and fight alongside it. There's also a um, campaign game in here, um, and this is going to be pretty cool. So you go 375 cards, 129 map tiles, 204 tokens, four dice, four booklets. I'm very excited to take a look in here. So uh, Undaunted series is very highly regarded. I've not played them myself, um, but I figure why not start and uh, get this, this the brand new one that's uh, all by itself and is a very subject matter I am very interested in. Uh, beautiful box art, whole scenes of the battle back here and the uh, characters up top, it looks awesome. All right, let's see, what do we got? Ooh, we got, um, there's also inside artwork. That's pretty cool. Nice little map thing going on there. Okay, we have a map book. Ah, oh, so this is how you set up all these different scenarios. Oh, that's pretty cool, finally. There you go. Stronghold, all different kinds. And this is the, I believe this is the like campaign game. So you have the different areas depending on how things go. I don't know how exactly how it works, but um, that's what I think you have here. Um, that's pretty cool. So you got it's where you can find all your scenario maps. German scenario book and a Soviet scenario book. So this kind of depends on which of these campaigns you want to play. Um, so let's see, we have briefings. Oh boy, a whole, okay, record sheet, whole thing here. Um, briefings for each scenario, looks like, play scenario, blah, blah. Yes, yeah, so you get the whole thing here is, wow, there's lots of stuff. Lots of stuff here. Wow. So, okay, it looks like here, depending on, so I guess depending on how your outcome starts, it's almost like a choose your own adventure, but whether depending on the outcome of the scenario goes to different endings for the campaigns. That's pretty cool. Wow. Romanians betray, wow, you Romanians defect. You got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. This is crazy. Okay, and uh, oh, I guess we got some stuff here at the back. Um, ah, this is the list. It looks like the list of scenarios. How to do each, how to set up and do all of them. That's pretty cool. Um, and I guess the Soviet scenario book is going to be the same. Yep. Briefings, record sheets, how to do all that, and all the different special rules and everything. So you got stuff for every scenario. That's awesome. Okay. And the rule book. Actung, do not read any booklets, unseal any decks, punch any punch words, or move any components so you've read the assembly and storage guide on page 4. If you if you need to reset your game, you can find out how to do so on page 31. Okay. I will not be... I, I will follow this advice, so I'm not going to be opening all that stuff on this. Well, I might unseal some decks, but um, otherwise I'm not going to punch anything out or anything. It's going to have to be a whole separate thing, but we got... Oh, boy. Yep. A nice big, big book. It looks very pretty. Feels it's a kind of a glossy paper, but it feels good. Doesn't doesn't have too much of a glare. Um, looking all nice. Four counters, tokens, uh, rules for first game, scenarios, setup. So it's got how everything goes there. Sample turn, campaign setup, uh, markers. Which I guess I'm assuming these markers are new mark new components. I don't know if new components for the series or is that new components just for the the campaign i'm not sure it might just be it might be for the this version of the series tunnel yeah i think that's that's what, that's what it does campaign actions combat actions so you get a whole bonus here campaign end um historical note uh, okay this is not a simulation yeah okay yeah it's so it's kind of a deck builder is how the undaunted works that's kind of the baseline for 
how things go down. So now we have our cool um, little uh, punchers. So we got scouts, snipers, riflemen, gunners, empty tank. We have different tanks, things for markers. That's pretty rad. Here's the German side. Same same kind of deal, or you know, roughly speaking. Um, are they actually? I'm just curious. Are they? They're, they're not exactly identical. Because you have AC, BC. Oh, that one's AC. Maybe they are. Oh, here's a BC. Yeah, they might be identical in, in that regard. Hmm. Okay. Um, looks like we just got all the kinds of markers you're going to need. Aha! Wow. Whoa. What do we got here? So we got trays. Trays to put stuff in. Oh, a dice kind of got stuck in there. Trays. And looks like we have dice here at the bottom. Let's, okay, let's see here. So these can come out. Okay. Okay, okay, come on. Alright, so over here we got some kind of tiles. Ah, uh, yes, the map tiles. They have their description on the back, what they're for, and you get all this. And um, so I know there's different like versions of them as they become like damaged or, or bombed out and fought over, which is pretty cool. Um, so you get the different different ones. Um, so one, ten, eleven, a. So you can make your map out, and then over time, the the uh, like for example, the school can uh, take damage and become. Uh, more bombed out, and it'll change how the board goes, how the board looks, and how it plays. That one's like oh, the power plant. So this is like C. So this is, I believe, the like bombed out version of the power plant is C, like just completely shattered. Um, get a better, if you want to get a better look at it, like so, this is the bombed version. Um, they're not clearly not quite in like just order of. It's not. They're not struck ordered in like seven o four. You know a b c or whatever so i'll have to I'd have to hunt them down to find uh your stuff here ah here we go um so we have some unit cards in one deck upgrade deck do not open until okay <laughs> well fair enough um that must be for the i think i believe that's for the campaign lock deck do not open until instructed yeah okay they really don't want you to so maybe i won't open those but we can let's let's uh open up these unit cards I'm going to. Sorry, game instructions. It's just how it's going to be for now. Let's see here. Come on. I don't know, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera as the plastic is crinkling as I'm opening it. Okay. So here we got like a platoon sergeant, squad leader, squad leader, rifleman, various kinds of riflemen. They got a little name associated with them, so you can kind of keep track of them as an individual soldier, if you want. Um, I know they're featured pretty prominently in that regard in the other Undaunted series of, like, these are your characters. Um, they have slightly different artwork on each one, too, so you got a little bit more of a different feel. Scouts, machine gunners, fog of war, fog of war, so that's some other mechanic. And I'm sure on this side we have, um, what's this one, just a reserve, whatever that is. And we have the Soviet equivalent. Let's just take a quick peek at this artwork. Mm, yep, platoon sergeant, squad leader, squad leader, rifleman. Various kinds of riflemen, scouts, machine gunners, more riflemen. They're even showing kind of the ethnic makeup of uh, the Soviet Union, so you usually have more of a uh, someone from the Asian side of Russia, east of the Urals. Scouts. Machine gunners, and then more of these fought of war. Oh, that's uh, pretty interesting. All right, so you kind of got each 
uh, card area for each side. You have your thick thing of tiles. And then you get the even, and they give you a nice little thing here for counter storage where you get everything punched out. That's really awesome. Um, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to get this all back in. Ah, come on. It's a little bit tight, but we'll get it. There we go. Let's get all of this back in. And rule book. And these scenarios. And the map book. One more look at the nice inside art. Well, there we go. That is... Undaunted Stalingrad. Uh, so I'm definitely excited to give this a try sometime. And uh, I hope uh, hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Thought it looked cool too. You know, get a copy uh, if you seem interested. It's a bit a bit on the pricey side because it's a big thick box, lots of components. They're very nice. So, uh, but uh, uh, it's, apparently this game series is great, and um, everything I've seen on it looks really good. So I'm, uh, I'm definitely think it's it's uh, worth it here. Uh, might uh, do some playing on the channel sometime. We'll see how it goes. But uh, uh, thanks for watching.